Today I'm going to show you how to do this circular pattern. I think the directions on this assignment are awesome. They have great screenshots of the different types of holes we're going to create. Um, and that's really the practice that you're going to get from this one. Uh, so let's scroll back up to the top of the directions and go from there. So we're going to make a circle and extrude it first. Open up Inventor. I'm going to start a new sketch. Um, on the XZ plane, or maybe XYZ, XY plane, I forgot which one I clicked on, doesn't really matter. I'm going to draw a circle that is going to be four inches in diameter, and extrude that at two inches. Then we're going to set a point on there, so I'm going to start a new sketch on this front side. And I'm simply going to find a point right there. Click on, I want to make sure I'm on this vertical Y axis. So I'm going to click a line there, click a point there. Click on the point and then the center. And I believe that is 2.5 is the diameter of the circle that goes around. So we have to do a formula that finds the radius. All right, then you hit uh, finish. Oh, I'm sorry, do not hit finish sketch. So I need to back up a little bit. I'm gonna right click on this sketch and go to edit sketch. And I wanna do a circular pattern here. So I'm gonna click on it with my geometry. I'm gonna click on this red arrow and circle. Why can't I click on the circle? going on here? Click on the geometry. Click on the circle. Oh, wait a second. There we go. Rookie mistake. Um, and the sad thing is I'm not a rookie. Um, I forgot to hit project geometry. So let's try that again. Hit circular pattern. Click on it. Then click my red arrow. There we go. Uh, it doesn't really matter the direction you go. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise because you want to stick, stick this at 360, and I believe we want five different points. Hit OK. Finish your sketch. All right, there should be five points on here, and if we click on one of them, we can add a hole. The first hole that you are going to create is simply a through hole which is right here, and we want it to be 0.25, and we want it to go the whole way through, and we're simply going to hit OK. All right. The next hole we are going to do, so I'm going to take this sketch, I'm going to move it up, see if that works. All right, the next hole that I want to do. So I just clicked on my sketch and I dragged it up so I like, copy and paste it. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to go hole. And the next hole is a counter bore hole. And we are going to set this at 0.75. We're going to set the depth at 0.25. We're going to set the di smaller diameter at 0.375. And again, we're gonna have it go the whole way through. And no threads. And we'll hit apply or okay. All right. The next hole we are going to do is a countersink hole. So I'm going to click on this sketch two, click on the point, click on this, create a new hole. And the countersink is uh, this one right here. We're going to leave it 0.25, 82 degrees, 0.375, all the way through. And hit apply and OK, which is, oh no, which is the default. Well, we didn't want it to do all of them, just this one. So I had to hit delete on those. All right, the next one we want to do is a tapped hole. So I, oh, 
Excuse me for a second, my phone's ringing. All right, so the next hole we're gonna do is a tapped hole. And click on that, create it. Um, the tapped hole is a simple through, uh, but we are going to click on to add some threads. Um, why didn't it add some threads? Is it still thinking? Uh-oh, my computer crashed. There we go. All right, so we want all of this. We're going to do a unified, yep, that. We want to change this to uh, 0.25. We're going to leave the, change this to class 1B, um, quarter inch, 20 UNC. We're going to leave it right-handed. Hit apply and OK. Uh, I put the other one on there, so I'm going to delete that. And the last hole we're going to do is a clearance hole. So I'm going to click on Sketch 2, click on it, create a new hole. And um, this is going to, we're going to click Clearance Hole. For some reason my computer is lagging a little bit. There we go. All right. We got a through hole, the dimensions. Uh, we want it to go all the way through. We want the dimensions to be 0.531 for the diameter. Um, let's see here. We want this to be. Yep, that's right. We want to go with a hex head bolt. We want it to be a half inch. Here's half inch. And a normal fit. Hit apply. Okie doke. Um, last thing you want to do is... Uh, actually, let me just make sure that that tapped hole was the right, right dimensions that I gave you. So I'm going to hit right click, edit feature. Um, 0.25. Okay, I think that's all right. Um, actually, we're going to go the whole way through. And we are going to set the tap at the full depth. So I'm glad we came back and fixed that. Hit OK. Now we're good. Uh, please save this as, um, what's this called? Whole practice, sorry. Save this as whole practice, and you'll be all done. Thanks.